Hey, McDoe's, this is Vention. I was just wanting to discuss the um, current situations as far as like the, the economy and everything goes. Um, but what, 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 MGTOW, we are the type who can really cut through the bullshit <laughs> and spot trends which are extremely like disadvantageous to us, such as marriage and gynocentrism. But, but I think it extends a lot farther than that. I think we can spot trends that, that, uh, that we can profit from and spot trends that allow us to avoid um, a lot of the damage, emotional and financial, that we would normally pick up uh, or have inflicted on us if we if we were like everybody else right um, the thing is I am seeing some really interesting times coming <laughs> that's an understatement uh, and it doesn't matter whether or not uh, Trump wins his lawsuits and uh, and can get like the delay and get the house to to vote him in right um, or if Biden, you know, and uh, that crazy battle axe take over. And uh, either way, it's just going to be uh, weird and crazy. And we're going to be seeing some trends that, that could run us over like a steamroller. But on the other side, if we can spot those trends, we can profit from them. Right. For example, as I have said before, I got rid of my TV in 2005 and that and then I started getting my news online and that allowed me to spot the 2008 recession coming, loaded up on silver, my gold went up and gold and my gold went up 70 percent. My silver went up 260 percent. Then I wrapped that up into a down payment on my house, which I bought at the bottom of the market in 2012, right? Um, and I bought it for 160 grand. Then I could smell the stink of the current recession, the one that they're trying to hide with this virus BS, right? Uh, the virus BS with the less than 1% death rate way less than 1%. Uh, if you're like 78 or something, you might have like a 5% chance. But um, but norm, people in the normal age range, you know, they they just sort of shake it off, right? Especially if they get some of those, uh, those um, you know, things like ivermectin, which is, which I bought on Amazon months ago. And um, in case I ever come down with something like that, but, uh, but basically, these trends are things that we can spot. And I am not the only one who can do this. The other MGTOW are very good at this too. And if you can spot any trends uh, that, are, that we should avoid and any trends that we can profit from, you know, as a, as a group, <laughs> Uh, that would be pretty darn awesome if you'd put it in the comments. I'd love that. Um, what I am seeing, uh, well, actually, I'm not the only one. Uh, some analyst from uh, from um, Citigroup was recently uh, 
predicting 20% inflation next year, but man, I think that's a low ball. I think, I think we're gonna see inflation significantly worse than that. And they're going to be, they're going to be, of course, doing all their um, obfuscating as much as they can to get, uh, to get the, uh, you know, to hide the numbers. But in reality, we are going to probably have a lot of inflation next year. Now, what happens when that happens is, um, is that our wages uh, lose ground, right? Unless we manage, we either have to drop into a lower standard of living with the same amount of work, or we have to somehow convince our supervisors or bosses or whatever, or customers to give us a raise, right? And then if we do manage to get a raise, then what happens? Then we have to pay, then we go into a higher income tax bracket, and then we end up paying a higher percentage of our wages in the form of income tax and all the other taxity tax 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 that they put on social security and FIC and and the Medicare and all that stuff. Um, and basically all of those taxes, you know, go up, right? And if we managed to even get a 20% raise, would we, would we even profit that much from it? I don't think so, right? So how can we avoid these problems, right? How, now I avoided the problems because I bought Bitcoin, you know, and I, and I'm now Bitcoin retired. And man, uh, when I got cancer, that was like doubly obvious that it was time to retire. <laughs> um, I knew, I mean, my medical insurance wouldn't pay for any of the treatments that I wanted. And so losing the medical insurance because I quit, you know, uh, didn't bother me at all because I haven't even needed any medical basically because none of the medical that they are willing to pay for is anything that I want, right? Um, and the medic, and then if I wanted to extend my medic, which I did for a while when it was like 800 or 700 a month or something, but then it went up to like 1100 a month. Um, I just, I let it drop, you know, I have no reason to be paying that shit. I didn't even use it once. I, they just harvested wealth from me and, and stupid me, I paid it, <laughs> but I have not, uh, I haven't needed medical insurance since then, right? They certainly wouldn't pay for what I'm doing here, you know? Um, so that, the trends, you know, that we're seeing, you know, the lockdowns and the, and the, uh, and the, you know, the, the crazy leftist lying media and the totalitarian globalist media, basically, and all the stupid leftists are just, walking in lockstep with it, believing everything they see on CNN and MSNBC, those people are going to just fall into the traps and, you know, stupid, there's an old saying, stupid should hurt, and man, it does. <laughs> and and all these people who are just watching leftist media, they most of them are just failures, you know, complete failures, and they... Uh, they just keep shambling along, wondering why people on the right are making money and having decent lives when um, when they can't do anything. And the res reason they think is because we somehow just took all of that wealth and prosperity from them. Never mind the fact that I spent friggin' year a couple of years in diesel school and busted my butt to uh, get my career and and basically saved money and everything and but instead they just think oh you stole it from us you know and so these are all trends and there's going to be a lot of stupid angry people that's a trend we're going to be seeing a lot of high inflation that's a trend um depending on who wins you know uh uh, Washington State, my state, has already started another lockdown, so they closed all the restaurants um, and all the bars and everything. And these 
small, of course, Walmart's still open, you know, uh, all the major grocery stores are still open, but uh, small business is being stamped out and that's a trend. Um, so we're also seeing, you know, uh, a lot of people working from home uh, online and we're a lot seeing them exit the cities because of all the crazy leftist burning and uh, window smashing and everything. So that's a trend. And we're going to be seeing um, a lot of people, uh, of course, leaving leaving those those states. And the more right they are, the farther right they are politically, the more likely they are want to want to get out of those places. Um, and a lot that's that's going to affect real estate values and some people are saying that yeah it's going to be great because we can buy up all that cheap real estate but the thing is uh will it ever really recover uh, how will we ever really need cities the way we currently have cities you know um do we will we always need to be close in you know uh living on top of each other um and are we going to need that you know so are we going to see real estate recover um the high inflation that we're going to see is going to uh is going to cause some weird distortions um we're going to see like um when the when the inflation hits and it's already hitting it's going to hide a lot of shifting values of various assets right um stocks for example in venezuela the stock market was just going way up because their strong boulevard that they printed printed into insanity uh kept losing value so in relation to to the crashing currency we 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 then see effectively the stock market going up but it's not in reality it's just going up in boulevards and we we are no doubt going to see some of that soon like especially ne next year because i'm thinking that 20% that 20% number is a low ball, right? So what we're gonna see is people's houses and cars and things like that, um, whereas in reality, um, because nobody has any money <laughs> because of the lockdowns, uh, we are probably gonna be seeing real estate losing value, but inflation, I suspect, is gonna hide a lot of that. It's going to uh, make it difficult to tell how much your house is really worth because the dollar is dropping and your real estate values are dropping. So they might maintain uh, the same pace, right? Um, but then if, if we have a situation where that vaccine comes out and then all the sheep will get their vaccine, and then there, then the leftist governors release the lockdowns, right? Possibly, <laughs> they they don't want to give up give up power. Uh, will they let up the lockdowns? It might just be like those terrorism numbers that they had a while back, you know, like like blue, green, or orange, or whatever, and and they just kept shifting it around until people stopped paying attention to it. Um, so when, if, if we get a situation where people start going back to work and the economy recovers, we could see situations like the house may have lost value or stayed stable, but then when people get money, you know, then the over a couple of years, we could see real estate skyrocket into absolute insanity in dollars as the real estate values recover, right? Now, when they recover, 
I mean, we could see like a three hundred house, three hundred thousand dollar house, right? Skyrocket to like a a million, right? Um, because people have money again, and the dollar's worth so much less, and you know, it could be a situation where somebody money could be made um, or lost. So it's something wor really worth considering. Uh, and of course, you know, as I am always harping on Bitcoin, um, we, um, I mean, it's just been amazing what it's been doing. Uh, I, during that big, huge virus crash panic that we had, um, I used the last of my house money uh, from selling the house to buy a few more bitcoins at uh, 4500 and some change. So I got in fairly low and then, and now they're 18,000, right? So um, as I'm cashing them in, you know, for these cancer treatments, um, the uh, IRS is gonna, you know, profit from me because I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna pay my long, not my, their long-term capital gains taxes because um, I don't want to be thrown into the gulag. Uh, but basically, I've made the transactions very simple. I've been uh, only cashing in like 0.6 or 0.5 or, uh, of a Bitcoin at a time and then uh, cashing them in at a, and then I write down exactly what I got for them and uh, that will be what I apply as uh, my gains. And... Um, and then I'm going to see if I can deduct any of these medical costs. Maybe I can. Who knows? Uh, oftentimes, um, oftentimes we can't really deduct as much as we like because there's like the IRS has limits on them. And if you spend a lot, they don't want you to deduct it because, you know, they want you paying those taxes. Uh, and the health savings account, the last time I looked at it a few years ago, is just a joke. Supposedly, if you put a certain amount in and then you don't use it all, you lose it, right? That's a deal breaker for me. I need, I need the ability to hold that money, right, and deduct it. But losing the money, that is just, the last time I looked, it's been a few years. I might be wrong. So I haven't taken advantage or used the health savings account. Um, let's see. Um, as far as Bitcoins go, man, I the I don't need the money, but I still accept tips in the form of Lightning Bitcoin, right? And that is the only reason I have a Twitter account. Uh, I had zero desire for years to sign up for that, but um, but then, you know, in order to use the tipping me uh, Lightning tipping. Uh, um, website, you have to um, you have to have a Twitter account. So uh, I made one. Then I got my tip in me account, and I'll probably put that as a link. And my favorite kind of tip is like fifty cents. You know, it just shows that somebody out there has lightning bitcoins, and it's like a calling card. And if you leave like a little message, that's even better. You know. Um, so yeah, that is awesome. I just. It would just be wonderful if uh, if MGTOW got into Bitcoin and uh, and Lightning, because that is just it's a way of being able to transfer value without any limits, right? They can uh, they can censor every, pretty much everything else, PayPal, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, and you know the um, all these. Uh, subscription things like Patreon, uh, they every time you turn around, they're kicking somebody on the right off of their uh, network, but they can't do that with Bitcoin. And even if you don't want to stack Bitcoin long term the way I do, I think it is a hugely important tool that every guy needs to be able to to use if it's if it's really needed. The time could come. When something really goes wrong where you're living and you've got to liquidate everything and uh, 
But the thing is, you might have your ability, some of your banking ability, um, limited, right? You might be able to like, you might want to fly out of the country, but then they they prevent you from using your money. But if you roll it into Bitcoin while you're still in the country, um, drop it into a, a hardware wallet, um, then you can, you know, throw it in a little zipper in your suitcase somewhere. And um, there isn't, mo almost nobody would even know, especially if it's checked luggage. Um, and then there's the seed phrases, you know, like a 20 word seed phrase. All you'd need to do is just every day memorize a new word and then just like the Boy Scout oath um, or sort of the MGTOW litany that I often recite to myself, peace, freedom, and prosperity. That's the MGTOW way. Um, it's like the Boy Scout oath before the gays took over Boy Scouts and then they finally closed it down because, yeah, boys can't have their own space. Only Girl Scout, only girls can have their own space. But, um, but it's extremely important, in my opinion, to have the skills ready to use Bitcoin if you need them because it could become important. And, and if you have those skills, then you'll be able to do better than you would and avoid problems that you might encounter if you don't have those skills. So that's one of the, and, and that's one of the things that has really been puzzling uh, to me, you know, like uh, about, you know, Big John, you know, MGTOW is freedom, you know, before he got his channel banned. Um, and I think he got kicked off Patreon too, if I remember right. But basically he lost his monetization. But MGTOW, if they had Lightning Network um, capacity, they could have a good video and it, he'd have a QR code on the, on the screen and then you could scan the QR code. It would take you straight to the Tip and Me app then you'd have another QR code that uh, is lightning, and then you could uh, scan that and send them 50 cents, right? Um, and then, man, he might still be a MGTOW. <laughs> As it is, he is, uh, he is extremely, uh, extremely against Bitcoin. And, like, I don't even understand how he is that adamant against Bitcoin. It's uh, puzzling to me. Um, and I left a message to him the other day, got deleted, you know. So uh, I left a sarcastic message today saying, okay, here's, you can delete, you can ban me now. And I wrote Bitcoin. <laughs> if that one gets uh, deleted, I'm unsubbing him. I don't have time for that. Um, let's see. Uh, I have a few notes here. Um, they can't, generally I don't do notes, but, uh, I did hear <laughs> cancer treatments went well today. Uh, they're, they like to reuse the IV thing, the, a little IV fitting, uh, for three days, you know, so, because otherwise they're saying that otherwise I would run out of vein real estate, um, <clears throat> over the 18 days or so of treatment. But, um, well, you know, okay, I can, I can deal with that. Um, today, um, they put me in the broccoli steamer. Uh, that was kind of cool. They, and it heats up and steam, uh, and it also has ozone as well. I'm not really on board with that. I don't see how the ozone would be really that helpful. But, um, but the steam and the heat, I suspect, would be. So they're ramping me up kind of slowly <clears throat> but um and eventually i'll have like a 40 minute session in there and it'll be really hot and that if you if you can get your body up to fever temperatures cancer starts breaking down um let's see other than that um i had one of the doctors has really switched on 
you know, um, I won't name him, of course, but he uh, he understands about uh, Federal Reserve Corporation money printing. He understands about um, yeah, the lying corporate media. Um, the divorce rate in the U.S., uh, he just, he's really switched on. Um, here, you know, in Mexico, it's still reasonably safe to get married. Uh, for a, a Mexican, I wouldn't want to do it. But, um, but he did it, so he has kids and everything and a wife. And I'm happy for him. I'm glad it's working out for him. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but... Um, Anyway, he's, uh, uh, I actually uh, sent him a link to my channel uh, because I consider him worthy to uh, hear what's, what's being discussed here. So, um, oh, and he understands Bitcoin as well, but he's not into it. So, which is unfortunate because they've been, all the lockdowns and all the, then the recession and everything, they, they um, their business has been dropping. Uh, pretty badly. So that means there's a lot of people in the United States who are who are suffering and probably dying because they can't afford to uh, come to places like that to get treatments, you know, that, that, you know, to get their cancer treatments. Just like that three month lockdown where I couldn't get my vitamin C megadose IVs. And basically it's just a real, a real, it was just a real S show, <laughs> and uh, and it was just, man. Yeah. And then during that time, my cancer numbers tripled. Yeah, what a uh, what a what a travesty! And now they're locking down again. Great, closing down all the small business restaurants. Great, yeah. And Inslee, what a joke. At least Inslee uh, hasn't done, as far as I know. He hasn't been caught violating his own uh, lockdowns, whereas a lot of these other Democratic uh, leaders are saying lockdown, and then they go out and party down and violate the lockdown. And because, uh, you know, rules for thee and not for me. Um, yeah, it's just pathetic. I'm, I'm almost to the point where I'm thinking... Uh, we need to start, not we, but geeks, you know. Geeks have really been useful. Um, geeks really get into wanting freedom and helping out with that. Uh, a nice app that allows uh, denial of service attacks to be coordinated on like uh, Twitter and CNN and MSNBC, uh, that would be, that could be useful. So, um, another thing at the end of the cancer or at the end of the day today, uh, I had a physical therapist and, and her assistant show up and, um, basically they ran me through all the, uh, all the mo range of motions and everything. And, and they complimented me on my, uh, weight loss and my, uh, and my, um, you know, the fact that I'm as healthy as I am with cancer as advanced as I've got, you know. Um, now that the rectum is removed, I hardly even would know that I have cancer. Um, just the glowing spots on the PET scan, you know, and the, uh, the CEA test, which was 800 about a month ago, and now it's like 1100, uh, which might be due to those immuno uh, shots that I've been getting. It ramps up all of this stuff. And it, um, so basically, uh, and it was kind of funny because uh, the physical therapist lady is, un has unusual coloration for Mexico, has blue eyes and blonde hair, right? And, um, and uh, I think, you know, when I, when I was introduced, you know, uh, she, I could tell she was like, mentally braced or something for for me to like be like very attracted to her right and I think it shocked her that that I was friendly you know but there wasn't any of that that 
magnetism that that most people have, you know. And man, thank goodness for being 55. It's just, it's like, it's like you're the monkey's off your back, you know. You're finally free, you know. The the situations where where you're where where the 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 reproductive desire just grabs you and just shakes you right and makes you act stupid and do stupid things <laughs> like back in back in one of my shops uh um a few years about more like 20 years ago uh this cute girl would come out you know and then and some and it would be embarrassing because i would be dropping tools and and be un being uncoordinated and shit and it was just and it would piss me off but but it was like you know my body was just you know fighting me and uh and just falling apart because she was like an att really attractive young lady right um so <laughs> but i think it shocked her that i was so unaffected by her appearance so that is just awesome i love being this way it's i'm finally finally free <laughs> but anyway um they complimented me on the weight loss and the and the fact that i am in apparently such good health even though i am so advanced in cancer because most of the people they see are like limping along and barely alive probably because most of them have taken chemo and it's failed them and the cancer spread and then they're trying whatever they can get after they've obliterated had their immune system totally obliterated by the chemo um, and then they try immunotherapy to use their immune system which they have already obliterated um, well maybe that's why a lot of immunotherapy doesn't have a great track record uh, some people a lot of people consider it a last resort but I still have an intact immune system because I haven't obliterated it yet with chemo. Now I'm going to be taking low dose chemo uh, toward the end of my my uh, uh, period here or time here, and um, combining that with like serious heat therapy, heat therapy where they heat your body up so much that you actually need to be sedated in order to be able to tolerate it. And um, when you get your temperatures up that high, um, then tumors really fall apart. So, uh, and then immunotherapy and the, and the low dose chemotherapy, which I will have in my bloodstream, uh, and the, the low dose sugar targeted chemo, uh, combined with that extreme hypertherapy, hype, uh, yeah, hyper, uh, yeah, well, whatever they call it, where they heat you up. Um, that is going to be very useful, I think. So, um, but I'm thinking, I brought enough Bitcoins with me. I can't, I'm not going to say how many, but I brought enough with me to last for a couple more months here. Uh, so I can I can cover my expenses and everything, but I outsmarted myself, uh, so I can't stay here a long period of time <laughs> without flying home and recharging my uh, my wallet. <laughs> so um, you know that's what you get for uh, you know if you want to limit your risk, sometimes you limit your options as well, and I did, but. Um, you know, um, well, I've still got credit cards and stuff. I might be able to maybe run those up or something because I like to keep those at zero. But man, uh, other than that, uh, yeah, the food at the cancer center, uh, they provide all my meals now. Some of it is really bland, but man, I just had some really, really amazing uh Salsa, I'm not really a salsa guy, but man, it was amazingly good. Um, so yeah, a, a lot of the food they have, you know, it's like, I'm impressed, you know. Uh, so other than that, um, yeah, in closing, pretty much 
just watch those trends, you know. What are we going to be seeing over the next few years, the next couple years? What kind of trends are we going to be seeing? And how can we get out in front of those trends like I did in 2008, like I did in 2012, like I did last year when I sold my house? What, what, what trends are we going to see and how can we profit from them? And because if we can't spot these trends, a lot of them are going to run, run us over like a steamroller. We're going to be like diving for cover, trying to get away from these trends because we didn't see them coming. So, you know, eyes open, my brothers, eyes open. Everything depends on the clarity of your thought. Your entire quality of life depends on how clearly you can think and how how you can spot these trends before they occur and how you can how and then how you can get out in front of these trends and profit from them and this is not a game real quality of life real real well-being of your life really depends on this um I can't really understate it, but because man, it is like critical. The uh, clarity of thought, eyes open. My brothers, and don't get married.